everybody, welcome back, c -Ray Tech here. So I know I promised a build video, but to be honest, if you go to Sand Smart's website, right now, they have probably the best build video I've seen. I will say that guy is probably the fastest <laughs> at assembling that I've ever seen, but anyway. I'll make sure to put a link in the description for that. Uh, the reason why I didn't include it was, first off, it's, uh, let's see, you have to put in four screws and tighten four additional screws, and then it's a matter of routing your um, Bowden tube and extruder power and plugging some stuff in. And I just, I didn't feel it would be relevant when there's so many people out there that's already done it. So, my apologies. But, I wanted you guys to see this thing in action, and my experience so far has been awesome. I have had one failed prints, one, two failed prints so far. Uh, let's see if I can find it. And um, it was my fault. Um, I didn't quite have the bed leveled, and uh, here's one of my failures. And I've been printing exclusively with the PLA that they supplied, and I think it's about 250 grams, maybe 500. Um, it looks to be about the same size as the sand spar, and I believe that one is, yeah, it's about 250 grams. So, I have printed most of the mods and uh, things that I was interested in for this printer, which I'll go over really quick. I did the knobs here, which you can see. It made a huge difference. It was a really pain, a big pain in the butt, trying to adjust the bed with the stock knobs, so that was a must. Um, I also, let's come over here and check this out, I got the little clip on there for the filament guide so I don't have to worry about it rubbing anywhere. Um, right now I'm printing feet for this unit here. Once that's done that'll raise that up and everything. Let's see what else. Um, the heated bed back here, because there's a weak point in this cable back here and it should be supported. So I had printed this here to solve that, but this is actually not the right size, so <clears throat> I'll have to get a different one, print that one, and then I'll get that fixed up too. But yeah, man, this thing has been working awesome. Leveling the bed wasn't even really that, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, wasn't really that bad. Um, and like I said, I've had no issues. This thing has printed great. Um, I can't wait to start printing some other filaments on it. Um, and with just this build surface alone, I'm just very very excited to be able to print pretty much all kinds of different stuff so um, definitely stay tuned I really strongly think that I will be putting up a channel for uh, 3d printing in the RC world so stay tuned for that I'm gonna get some things together so I can get some content together for everyone but um, so yeah that's I think that's gonna be it for me today I uh, like I said I'm really impressed with this printer and I'll definitely uh, be putting up a lot more content revolving around the awesome things that I can do with this. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, as always, guys, fly safe and fly often.